open the drawing Aquaterra Mike by DHI. We will first define levy and bank points using the define intersection points command. Select the right levy definition and click on the upper side of the right embankment. Now run the same command again and select the endpoint of the dike. Select the draw elements only in profiles where it does not exist option. Repeat the procedure also for the left levy and right and left bank. We can export the existing terrain to Mike or use the assemble terrain line command to assemble a new terrain. Use the pointer icon to select elements from which a new terrain will be assembled. Make sure that all the different elements are selected. In our case, left and right banks, dikes and the channel. Press enter and you can check the list of elements. Name the new terrain line and set it as current. To export cross sections, we need the terrain data from the cross sections, the cross axis, and the intersection lines. First, let's export the terrain to the CRO file. Go to cross sections and select Save Terrain to File. Specify the file path and name and confirm. Next, use save projection points to save the defined levy and bank points. To export cross sections, go to Layout and expand the Sample Lines drop down menu to execute the Sample Lines Report command. Show the file path, confirm, and press Enter. Now we can export the text file with all the cross sections data. Go to Utility and select Mic Export, Export Sections to Mic 11. Define the name and path where you want cross sections to be stored and press convert. To export the river axis, you simply use the export axis to Mike 11 command, which you can find under the utility tab. Another text file containing axis data will be created. Open your mic project, go under File, New, select Mic 11 module and add the new cross sections file. Now we can import the cross sections using File, Import, Import Raw Data. Save the file and reopen it.
You can further edit levy and bank points using the markers in the Rotator tab. Now add a new network file. Here we need to set the map projection and working area. After you've set the working area, click on the file menu, go under the import and select point and branch data from point branch ASCII file. You can view the axis in the tabular view where you can define the topographic ID. Here you can also set the flow direction. In this example, we need to change it to negative. Set the rest of the model and run the analysis. To import a water surface from the 1D model, go under the Utility tab and select Import from MIC11. You'll need the REST11 file to import the results of 1D flow analysis. In the dialog you can select the branch, if there are more of them, and water level at any given time step. You can also choose envelope to get the maximum water level values. Select the path for the output file and name the set. You can also export geometry from MIC model to get the CRO, LON, IL files. Click convert to get the files. To insert the water surface in the longitudinal profile, select Profile and then Water Surface Levels. Select the WSL file and confirm. Select Cross Sections tab and then Insert Water Surface to insert water surface in the cross sections. We can also use the Draw Mic 21 results to insert them into the drawing. Select your DFS2 results file and define the parameters that you want to show in your Aquaterra model. Confirm and the results will be drawn in the project.